Achilles Design is a design and engineering company and we design and develop products and services from the initial idea to go to the market. So what does that mean? That we, we deliver all the services in between that you have, that's like designing, concepting, user research, testing, validation, uh, brand development. These are the things we do. So we are a kind of one-stop shop or uh, everything under one roof you need to, uh, to get your ideas to the market. This is a design for the world's first 3D printed safety certified glasses. They are smart glasses, uh, they have a display and a powerful zoom lens and a laser pointer. One of the applications for this uh, glass is in surgery applications uh, where other people can follow along with the surgical operation. They can see through the cameras that are in, involved in the, uh, in the uh, eyewear here. Also for remote applications where maybe a service technician is, is, is at your home and he has a problem, he can actually call up an, an, an expert and the expert can then walk them through the procedure or, or, or help them fix the or diagnose the problem. SolidWorks uh, is a part of our daily job, um, a very important part. Um, I still come from the times then when CAT software didn't exist, so I can make uh, a very good uh, comparison between uh, drawing by hand and uh, designing in 3D with, uh, with a CAT system. And um, yeah, we couldn't without it, of course. Eh? Um, it's, 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 part of, uh, it's part of the job. I think that, the, uh, that SOLIDWORKS is quite easy to learn. I, I started using it about almost 20 years ago now, um, but uh, I came from another software packet, and I think that the, the learning curve was, was very, very gentle. It was very, very nice to, to get into SOLIDWORKS, and I'm glad that I made the transition. So often customers come to us uh, with very particular questions, such as uh, a device uh, should withstand being driven over. Um, the device cannot heat up over 40 degrees C which we then translate into more uh, straightforward design parameters. Um, and then we can easily analyze that using the simulation software. It's quite easy to set up. You have very fast uh, ans answer to your questions. Um, and with the answer, you can then steer the design. You can also very easily communicate um, the results to our customers, which then in turn um, gives them a bit of confirmation. Yes, okay, this is the proper direction to go. Right now I'm looking at a frame that we're working on for a client to make sure that our surfacing is all smooth and we don't have any, uh, any strange uh, inconsistencies. I pretty much like using all of the different uh, SOLIDWORKS solutions, especially the surfacing. The, the surfacing has, has come, come around quite a lot in the past few years and I can really get the surfaces I want. Um, straight out of SOLIDWORKS. The biggest advantage for SOLIDWORKS for, for me and, and also for the rest of our company is that we can do everything in one packet. So from the early concepts through to final production drawings, we do the all in one packet rather than uh, in, some, in some other software packets. You can do the engineering really well at the end, but then the, the, form, the forming in the front is, is maybe not so smooth and easy. So over the last few years, we've grown significantly. On top of that, we had COVID recently which lets people to work remotely. Um, and because we're growing, we are um, doing big, bigger projects. Um, bigger projects means more people working on the same project at the same time, which uh, then necessitates better control of the data. Um, and to have better control of the data, we uh, reached out to design solutions and uh, implemented the PDM uh, system. The PDM system allows us to work faster remotely, um, have tighter control of the data, uh, and actually implement a proper revision control of all the data. Also, design solutions helped us implementing the PDM system, so we to worked together with them in selecting the correct solution for our problem, uh, and then they came and uh, basically uh, implemented a workflow that both allows the creativity, um, because we're a design office, with, there's a lot of creativity going on, and the workflow shouldn't impede the creative process. So we have a workflow that's on one hand uh, allows creative freedom, but on the other hand also uh, has the tight control we need for our medical uh, projects.